Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Lauren. I'm really excited for today's video, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling well. I feel like my voice at least isn't super scratchy, but I am being a little delicate with it. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I'm not feeling well, I'm really not. But I wanna get this video out for you guys. I have a feeling I'll be in a great mood after this video because we're gonna be talking about all the new Odin's Eye Single Shadows that are launching. These will be launching January 5th. I'll have like exact times and stuff down below, but they came out with 42 new single eyeshadows. You guys know I love single eyeshadows. So when they let us know these are coming, I was so excited for them. These are all very colorful, very sparkly. There's not a lot of neutrals. There's absolutely no matte. And you guys know I live for the sparkle. I got my ass up to do this because I live for the sparkle, okay? So I'm going to give you a little bit of information about these shadows and I'm going to do some in-depth swatches. I'm really happy with how the swatches came out. I really wanted to show the shifts and the shine and the best real-to-life detail that I can. I'm also going to describe the colors as I show them as well. I hope that will help. And then I thought I would give you my top 10. I by no means have worn all of these on my eyes, but I've worn quite a few. I've done like, you know, just trying them on. Most of them single eyeshadow looks as you know I love that but I really just wanted to get some of these actually on my eyelid skin and see what those look like not just swatch them it's a lot of shadows here though so skip around to where you want to go I hope that more than anything this video is super helpful for you I do have a code with Odin's eye which will save you 10% off if you're going to purchase these but we'll get more into some of those details so these are launching like I said the fifth and there are 12 multi-chromes and then there are 30 shimmer shadows the single shimmer shadows are going to retail for six and a piece which I thought was a really great price and the single multi-chrome shadows are going to retail for $14.90 a piece which for a multi-chrome those tend to be more expensive. I also thought for how big these pans are and everything that was a pretty good price as well. They also are launching palettes. This is what the palette looks like. It holds 12 of the single shadows in it. The packaging itself no shadows included will be $6.90 but then they also have these cute little compacts for just a singular eyeshadow. I love these. They're clear. I don't know how to get them out though. That's the one thing. I'm like I've tried to get this one out since I put it in and I'm like, I don't know how to get it out without destroying it. So if you have tips, let me know. But I love the packaging. I love how tiny it is. You guys know I love single shadows in compacts as well. I love eyeshadow. What, what are we talking about? So those are the prices, but for launch, they are going to be doing some special discounting on the bundles and different things. So if you decide to bundle and purchase the 12 multi-chrome shadows, you can get that with one of the palettes for 20% off what that would be. They're also doing that with the shimmer shadows. I'll leave all that technical information down below because it's only going to be for a limited time but I did want to point that out in case you're interested in getting like bigger bundles there are going to be different discounts for that so and then of course you can save money using my code too it is affiliated I do make money from it and as always I really appreciate you guys using my codes it really does help out the channel okay so now we're going to actually get into swatching I really went by color for the most part so I organized the shadows like there is this row of kind of neutrals and then from there it's kind of like reds to pinks to oranges to golds to greens to blues to purple and that's how they're gonna go but I will differentiate when I'm swatching them what they are if they're a shimmer or if they're a multi-chrome so you can have an idea of prices and also what to expect like is it flipping is it not type of thing so I think I'm gonna leave it here so I don't like tire out my voice at the beginning of this video but let's get into the swatches I'm first starting off with the shade Samuel this is a shimmer and this is a pretty classic silver color I would say this has like a medium opacity to it and it has lots of sparkle really pretty really glittering it's a pretty brilliant silver so it doesn't lean too blue it's not too smoky either it's really quite beautiful if you don't have sparkly silver and we're looking for one next is the shade Nora this is a subdued gold so it is a gold color but this one does not have a really yellow uh, color to it I also find this one to be quite sparkly and I really have to build it up if I want that base but I kind of like it just all on its own on the lid just shimmered out it looks really pretty but this one is definitely very very sparkly I would say most of these I'll like to know if they're not but most of these are very very sparkly next 
Next is the shade Laura. This is a shimmer and this is a bronze color with a bit of a warmth to it. it. Has something orangey going on, but what I really love about this is that the shimmer particles in here are kind of multicolored. So there's like a green going, there's a little bit of a blue, and I actually find that shows up on the eyes. This is one of my favorite shadows for like a standalone look. If you want, you can like add some drama and deepen up the outer corner, but really love Laura and it's almost my name. I didn't get a name shadow. All of these have names. Hopefully one of you guys got yours. Next, this is the shade James and this is a shimmer as well. This is a beautiful like pewter kind of color is what I would describe it as or like a dirty gold um, again not too much yellow coming through but it's still like golden and the shimmer that's in here is golden this is one of the more flaky shadows um, some of these are more on that textured flaky side but they aren't like a dry flaky they're actually more of a, a moist flake if that even makes sense but this one I love the color uh, I think it's really pretty but the few times that I've tried it on my eyes I do notice that it is a little scaly looking. I don't know if it's just what I'm applying or my base underneath, but if you already struggle with that or you really don't like that look, I would maybe not get that one just because I just haven't found a way to make it not look more scaly. Like, you know, just kind of clumpy on my eyelid. And last for like the more neutral or the most neutral out of all of these, this is Robert. This is a shimmer and it is a beautiful, cool toned purple. It's like an icy lavender and the base of this is really where you're seeing the purple. On top though, there's like this silver and kind of gold. Again, that like subdued gold that isn't super yellow. Those shimmers are kind of floating on top of this purple lavender base and it's really quite beautiful. Really, really love this one. But I find it does flash and look on my eyes a lot more cool toned and almost silver because of the sparkle. It kind of takes over. But then when you move, you can see the base kind of come through. Next is the shade Olivia. This is actually the color I'm wearing all over my lids in the intro. I really quite like this. This is a shimmer and it has a peachy base but then it has this really beautiful pink and kind of violet almost leaning a little cool toned shimmer on top. I really really love this. Just a simple one shadow look. I think it looks really great. Like I said I tested a lot of these just on my bare lids like they're primed but with a thinner primer actually and I really liked the way that looked. That's kind of my preference. You guys know that. If I want I'll add like a little bit of an outer corner color on top but I really love this. Just all over the lid. Such a pretty peachy color. Next is the shade Eden and this is the first multi-chrome. This one's absolutely beautiful. It has a pink base to it but then it has this gold, green, orange shift going on. I would say the strongest like difference is that it does go to that green and the base on it is a pink and it does stain a little bit so just be aware of that. Some of the pinks I've noticed stained, some of the blues and purples also. If I can remember which ones I will try to let you guys know but that one's really really stunning. The next is a similar color but this is just part of the shimmer line. This is Charlotte and I really love this one as well. It has that same kind of pink base but this has more of a scattered sparkle on top of the pink base whereas the multi-chrome I feel like really looks solid in its shift and this you can tell it's like a pieced out sparkle on top of a base. The sparkle in here has like a little bit of a green and kind of gold and almost blue reflect to it. Again really really pretty. Some of the pinks in here uh, really remind me of the Cleona Dragon Fruit palette, which you guys know I love, so I think they're really fun. Next, this is another multi-chrome. This one is Marius, and this is one of those black-based, really smooth duochromes that looks pretty metallic. So it has a black base, and it flips from like this golden green. It has a little bit of like orange, and then it has like almost a maroon to it. I don't know if this is the right shade, but from Cleona, there's something called Forge, and if you've ever used any of their multi-chromes um, that are more jeweled, I think they are. The really smooth ones, that's what this reminds me of. There's a few other ones that just remind me of that formula. They remind me of the shifts of those where they're really smooth, super shifty, um, and a little bit thinner with black bases. Then next, this one's so beautiful. This is Leon, and this one is marketed as a multi-chrome. It does have a black base, so I guess I see that, but I really don't get like multi 
color finishes in this one. This is just a beautiful, literally ruby red sparkle on top of a black base, absolutely stunning. This one looks super shimmery and pretty sparkly actually. It doesn't have a super smooth finish. You really see that texture. You can build it up and get something a little bit smoother, but so stunning and very unique, I feel like, for a shadow. But do know it has that black base, so if you're gonna wear this one, this isn't one I would sheer out all over my lid. This is one I really would pack on and really build up for it to look the best and really impactful. Next, we're moving on to another multi-chrome. This one is Isabella, and this one is another stunning one. This is still working in that kind of pink, green, gold, orange vein, but this one doesn't have that like really hot pink base to it. This one almost has, I don't wanna say a transparent base, but it doesn't really have much of a base on it at all. It's really just the pigment shifting. It's so pretty. Really, really love this one. If you don't have any multi-chromes, you're wanting to get into some. I think this is a good one to start with where it still has some neutrality to it. Okay, let's be real. It's not like super neutral, but it's not super bold necessarily in terms of the actual color that's gonna go on your eyelid. So you can kind of like make it more wearable, I guess. I really love that one. Next is a shimmer shade. This one is Mia. And this is actually one of the least sparkly. This doesn't have a bunch of like bigger, chunkier shimmers in it. It's almost more uniform but I love it. This is one that if Odin's I had to do like a satin, this is like their version of a satin. It's still very shimmery, but it just looks so good. This pink is really soft. It has like a blue kind of shimmer on top, but again, it's a little bit more subtle. If you don't want chunkier glitter or shimmer pieces in your eyeshadow, this is one that you might want to try out. But if you only like super glittery stuff, that one might be a little bit underwhelming, but I think it's so beautiful. It's actually one of my favorites. Next, we're moving on to another multi-chrome. This one is no noi i'm not sure how you say that name but this one is really beautiful it looks like a fantasy like a unicorn tail like this is very much giving that it has a purple base to it but then on top it has like an orange green gold kind of shift going on it looks really magical really beautiful um i haven't tried this one on my eyes yet but that one is really really pretty again definitely think of like a fantasy land where unicorns exist and there's princes like that's what I get immediately. Next is a shimmer shade. This is Ivy and this is a deeper pink shimmer. It almost looks kind of maroon. It has like that orange that comes out on the sides when you really sheer this out. It has a bit of sparkle going through it. Just a nice shadow. I wouldn't say this has particularly big sparkle. It doesn't have a um, little sparkle though either. It's just a nice kind of middle ground shade. And then last for these kind of pinky shades, this is Ava and this is a shimmer. This this is a very textured shimmer though, like it's pretty flaky. And so I feel like this is like a medium opacity. You really are gonna have to build this up if you want more than that. The pink on this, it's almost like a purpley pink. It also has like a gold flash to the actual shimmer. It's really, really pretty. That one I haven't tried on my eyes yet either, but I don't think that it's gonna be chunky on my eyes as that James shade, which I mentioned, looked kind of chunky on my lids. But I've tried other ones that have that same kind of chunky formula and they don't look like that. So. I I don't think that one based off of feeling it is going to look like that on the eyes, but I haven't tried it on yet. I did my best to try to get as many of these on, but <laughs> my eyelids were close to bleeding. All right, next, this is a shimmer shade. This is Ella, and this is a like white based or transparent golden shimmer. This one actually has a yellow gold coming through. It's very sparkly, very chunky, really pretty. This is a great topper. I like using these kind of as a finishing touch, just tapping on with my finger, adding some like really sparkly accents and this would be great for that especially too because in light doses you don't see that base on it at all if you really wanted to build it up you might see the base a little bit more next is the shade samantha this is another shimmer this is another one of those more chunky ones but when i put this one on my lid it blended out really nicely again i use my finger anytime i'm applying shimmer shadows so just to know what technique i'm using but this one looked really great just over a base if you want that kind of bright eye look this is just a golden shimmer like a light golden shimmer i find it looks even a little bit lighter than it is in the pan because it is so reflective of the light but there isn't like a base on it or anything next is the shade maja and i love this this is one of my favorite multi-chromes out of the bunch just so stunning this one really looks like sunlight on your eyes it's a gold with an orange and green shift it's just 
bright and fun. I want to wear this in the summertime so badly. It has me really excited. It's like rainy here in Cali. <laughs> it's like really rainy in California right now. But I love this one. If you're looking for one of the multi-chromes, this is one of the ones I really, really like. Next is the shade Victoria. This is a pretty just like yellow gold. Like it is just yellow gold. It's sparkly and kind of regal, like the tone of gold it is. It does have a little bit of like an orangey quality in the base, like as you kind of blend it out. It's really pretty. It is really pretty, but it's definitely, you know, that bold gold look. That is what you're getting from that one. But I like that you can see the texture in it and it's not a complete like metallic foiled look. I like that kind of sparkle. I think it adds some nice texture. And last for the oranges and golds, this is the shade Lucy. This is a shimmer. And this is one I would almost describe as a velvet. Again, this doesn't have like a ton of pieced out sparkle. It's more of a very fine, very regulated shimmer that's going on in here. And it's a pretty bright orange. The base on it almost turns a little pink. And then the sparkle that is in here, like the shine that is coming, which is again, very fine and not too pieced out, is a golden color. Really pretty, a little bit unique. Um, not normally a shade I would gravitate to, but again, I do think it's pretty unique. Next is the shade Ingrid, and this is another multi-chrome, beautiful multi-chrome. So we've seen a lot of pinks and greens, but this pink and green kind of shift. It's very green in the base, and then it flips more to a pink. It also has some gold going on, a little bit of orange going on. Really, really pretty. If you want more of the green to show up instead of the pink, this is the one to go with. Really love Ingrid. I think that one's really special. Another shade I really love, this is the the multi-chrome in Lola. This is so pretty. Okay, this has like a transparent or white base on it and it has like a green shift, but then it also has this like cool blue kind of going on violet um, shift going on as well. These are the types of colors I am a sucker for. On my lid, this does mostly show up green. It's only when I'm not looking and I turn my head where you can really see the teal, I feel like, and like the more blue and kind of purple aspects of this, but I just love this shade. In terms of texture, this one's kind of in between. It's not super smooth, but it's also not the most glittery, but I absolutely love this. Like, I love this one. I love shadows like that. Like, I have a ton of those, and I always like them, like, the most out of multi-chromes. <laughs> Next, we have Gabriel. This is a shimmer, and this is, like, an olive, kind of mossy green. It has a green base, and then the shine on it is kind of a golden, but it's kind of a neutral golden. Again, there's some yellow coming off, but it also has something kind of silvery or kind of a uh, pewter going on with that green. Really, really pretty. If you love greens, there are tons in this collection. Uh, there's a lot of like pretty bold greens. So next, this is Justin and this is a shimmer. This is like a grassy green. Uh, there's something kind of brilliant to it. It has almost like a blue or cool leaning shimmer on top with a little bit of that yellow green though still going on. So very grass green in that color. Then next is the shade John. And this feels like a more blue toned version of the last color. That has more yellow in it. This one has more blue. Again, it has like a bit of that cool kind of shift on top of it. Very pretty. Those are pretty bold greens for me personally, uh, but they are still really pretty. And if you love greens, I think you're gonna like them a lot. This next one is called Jacob. This is a shimmer. This is kind of a mint color. So it's kind of on the cusp of being blue or being green, like which one is it? It has that like minty teal color. Think like a Tiffany's blue. And then the shimmer in this is more of that silver color. So I find that this actually looks even lighter. Most of these I would say are like that semi sheer, like you build them up to be full opacity. And so for this one, the base is blue, but if you don't build it up, you're not gonna get a ton of blue. You're gonna get more of that silver. So, but yeah, that one's Jacob. Oh, this next one is one of my faves. I love it. This one is called Kevin and this has a green, like a lime green base. And then on top of that is this really beautiful like blue and violet kind of purple shimmer on top. I believe the shade from JD Glow is called Prismatic. I think it is the green shade from them. They're very similar. It's that vibe. So it has like this almost what feels like a matte base, like a lime green with a lot of yellow base to it with those really beautiful kind of unexpected and contrasting sparkle on top. It's just stunning. I love that one. Next is the shade Noah. This is a shimmer shadow and this is a deep green. It has 
like a blue to it though, almost like a hunter green. You can really see the teal coming out in this one. The sparkle's really beautiful. And I find actually like in different lighting, the base gets a little bit darker. So you get quite a bit of depth with that one. The next shade, Christopher, this one is actually quite similar, but even more blue than the last color. This is also lighter. So this looks more like a traditional teal, more blue to it. It almost has like a, a bit of like a purple, again, kind of violet and blue sparkle on top. It's not like multi-chrome, but it definitely has some of that going on. It's really, really pretty. And I find those two shades do stain just a little bit. And then now we're moving on into some more blues. So this is the shade Anthony. This is a shimmer. This is a deep blue with a purple violet shimmer. It has like a darkened, not quite black. I would call it more a gray base. It's really beautiful. I love those kind of jewel tones for blues like that. Next is the shade Nicholas, and this is an icy blue, but it's quite sheer actually. This one's a little bit harder pressed than the other one, so I find I really have to kind of dig in there. And it does have sparkle, but I feel like this one looks a little bit more smooth on. This has a blue base, and then it has like this violet kind of cool toned purple, almost leaning pink kind of top over it. Really, really pretty, um, but definitely a little bit different, I feel like, in formula on that one. Next is the shade Daniel. This is a shimmer shadow, and this one's interesting. It has a blue base to it. The blue is on the base is very, very strong, and I feel like, you know, in different light, if that's not built up, you can kind of see, not the patchiness, but it kind of stains in those areas, and then the shimmer kind of takes over, so really get this one on nice and even, I would say, but it has a similar, but just more intense, shift to the last shade. I honestly feel like it's just the more intense version in actual swatches. Like it has a more intense base, has more intense flip, maybe a little bit more pink coming through, but those two definitely stain, like high staining. Then we have the shade David. This is a blue and purple shadow. This reminds me of the shadows from the Circo Loco, like the blue and purple that are in there. If you combine them together and made them like slightly duochromatic, that's what this is. And more shimmery. <laughs> that's what this shadow is to me. This has like a thickness to it. It really adds some coverage. It has a little bit of shimmer throughout, but really just a solid jewel tone. Next is another one of the multi-crumbs. This one is Dimitri. That always reminds me of Anastasia, the movie. Anyway, this is one of those really smooth multi-crumbs. So it has that black base. It has like the blue, the purple, kind of going into violet and even something like verging on maroon to it. Really beautiful, very smooth with still some sparkle though, but just a very smooth the shadow in the feeling of it. Next is the shade Emily. This is like a warm lavender color with a lot of silver sparkle in it. Really pretty. Um, I don't notice any kind of shift. Like I really wanted the lighting to capture what you were gonna see in person. I just don't notice that blue shift as much as it shows up in camera. Next is the shade Emma. This is a shimmer and this is a lighter lavender with a golden, almost kind of peachy shift on top, like shimmer on top. Up. This one's quite sheer and this one also is just like a little bit harder pressed I'm actually getting a little bit of hard pan as I talk about it I don't know what it is with the lavender shades, but this one's really pretty It has a almost transparent base on it. Next is Judy. This is one of my favorites you guys This is a multi-chrome. This is also that same kind of enchanted vibe. Okay, this looks like unicorns magic is real like seriously stunning If you're gonna get one of the multi-chromes, I also really recommend this one. It's so pretty It has that purple base it's kind of similar in some ways to the other purple based one that then has like orange and gold and pink and green on top of it but I feel like this one has more of like a shimmer going on with it it's just like seriously so 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 pretty love 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 that one seriously one of my top favorites another multi-chrome though this one's Angela this is similar ish to the last one but this has more of like a blue coming out like the blue base on this is pretty strong so what it actually looks like on my eyes it looks almost a little gray a gray with like a green shift is what I mostly get from it so it is really really pretty in the pan I love it but on my eyes definitely not as special as I wanted it to be at least for me but this one's a little bit more of like a, a smooth formula and actually the consistency almost feels like a, a super shock like it has a putty kind of formula next is the shade Stella this is like a pretty classic more cool toned purple 
maybe this might have been the one that had the blue shift. I know one of the purples did, so hopefully when I'm editing this, I'll, I'll make the right correction there. But this has like a purple base with a bit of like a warmer purple shimmer, a little bit of silver sparkle. This is also one though where the base is gonna stain you. Like you're gonna be stained from that one. I think this might be our last multi-chrome. This is Thor. And this is one of those golden, green, maroon, black based multi-chromes. I know you've seen them. I know you've seen them. Really pretty. There's also a bit of purple going on so like that purple gold shift again that really smooth formula the black base on it very very silky smooth with a nice shimmer payoff last two shadows this next one is called chloe one of my faves this is also a lavender and it is quite sheer but i love the sparkle that's in here there is like this yellow and also this kind of blue purple sparkle that really pops out through the kind of silver sheen that's going on the lavender color is not super prominent so when you put this on you're really going to want to build it up if you want the lavender to come through if not i would just like add a purple color to keep your eye look more actually purple if not it's going to look just a little more silver i guess but really love that one that one also shears out and is just very sparkly if you don't get it to full opacity it's just a lot of sparkle which i love and then last this is the shade luke and this one i actually you know i'm glad i swatched this one on my eye and like tried it on my eye because it looks initially like it's just going to be one of those kind of brown red pigments where the base is really warm but then on top it's kind of like that blue brown kind of look this one actually leans a little bit more like a, a cool purple almost instead of blue but this also has a violet shimmer going throughout and i didn't know how that would translate because you know you can see it in the pan but actually on the eyes it looks really pretty and this you know the actual color isn't super sparkly just those sparkles throughout the violet sparkles are the most sparkly part and so it's like this soft dimensional eye look with the addition of something special with those violet sparkles. I don't know. It looked really good. I really liked it actually. So that is the last shade. I really hope that those swatches were helpful. I really spent a lot of time trying to get the right lighting and show you the texture and the shifts so that you guys could have the best knowledge. Like I really wanted, since I am lucky enough to have them all, I really want you guys to have the most knowledge so you can pick up what you want. These are all shimmer, which I do love, but I do think that also makes them more special in the sense that I look at these almost like single shadows I would use in one eye look and then add other things to surround them whether I'm pulling from palettes or other single shadows in my collection I really do think of each of these as their own kind of superstar but with that I thought I would leave you off with my top 10 there's 42 shadows here so it was kind of hard to pick a top 10 I had some like kind of runner-ups but I think I can narrow it down if you're looking for something kind of neutral this still has like an orangey gold tinge to it this is Laura really love it and I really love the sparkle that's in here I feel like it elevates it to not just a regular neutral color and I feel like I don't normally gravitate to this type of shade it just has a lot of warmth to it but it's beautiful it was so pretty I really really love Laura next is Olivia this is what I have on my eyes today I just think this is such an easy shadow I think I could get a lot of use out of this just no thought tap this on my lids with like some type of primer and I'm good to go if I want I can add even my blush and kind of add something blushy to the outer corner I just can see this being a really easy staple go-to look for summer or just anytime honestly and I really love that it is duochromatic it does have like something fun going on but still is simple I have to put Leon in here because of how unique it is I just think that this sparkly red this just reminds me immediately of the Wizard of Oz and those ruby slippers like that is what this looks like it's beautiful this isn't one that I'm gonna wear a ton but I do think like out of a lot of single shadows I have I don't think I have anything quite like this and I really quite like it again it has that black base on it so I feel like it's definitely a special look you're probably going for something bold I mean it's a glittery red like let's get real but absolutely stunning love that one I might be showing you more than 10 like I'm realizing like eh, but these are just my top picks let's just let's keep it to top picks Isabella is stunning if you're looking for some of the multi-chromes this is one of the multi-chromes I really recommend Oh, it's so pretty. I like that. It's not a smooth multi-chrome. It has a little bit more sparkle to it. It has like a nice transparent base. So I feel like, again, kind of more easy to wear every day if you're going to be spending the extra money for a more expensive shadow. Unexpected sleeper hit for me, Mia. Love this one, even though it doesn't have all the sparkle. I really, really love this one. And I think it looks so soft and beautiful on my lids. Another one that's just easy to throw on. I don't know if it's the pink hair, but I definitely, you know, can see myself using a lot of pink looks but I like that that's a more subtle pink look another multi-chrome love Maja is beautiful if you're looking for like that bright pop of sunshine it is just really
really vibrant. I really love that about it. It's almost like a, a neon sign. It's like you're drinking a sunny delight on the beach. Like, I love it so much. That's a really pretty multi-chrome. You guys already know I love Lola. This is that green teal shifting shadow. I just love shadows like this. Like, I have a lot of shadows like this. There are a lot of shadows out there like this. And this one does pull, again, a lot of green on me, but I just love it. I really do. Like, I love that shadow. Another multi-chrome love, the Ingrid shade with that green. Uh, it's very limey. I love that with the pink. Super stunning. Love that. I want to try it on the inner corner. That's what I'm excited for for that one. I think the last green I'm going to pick just because you know, I'm picking ones that I really more preference. Like this is more my preference of what I'm gonna actually wear, what I think would be more staples for me as opposed to just like beautiful colors that sit in my drawer. I do really like Kevin. I think it's stunning and definitely a little bit different. It's similar to JD Glow. Again, I think it's prismatic. I think that's what it is. So if you have that shadow, you might not need this one, but I do really like this and I think it's very different. Last couple of shadows, if you're looking for that enchanted fairy tale vibe multi-chrome, I suggest just Judy. I really suggest Judy. I know it doesn't look like much here, but the way that the green and the gold and everything plays in here, it's just a really like fantastical shadow. Again, makes you believe in magic. And then I think last I'm going to put in Chloe. This is that lavender that doesn't have much of a base, just has like a golden and kind of purple sparkle with some silver going on. I just think it's really pretty. And this is another one I actually would use more as an accent. So like I could tap it on different places because that base isn't super strong. I just get a lot of sparkle from it. I, I really quite like that one. And kind of an honorable mention, Luke is really pretty. I wouldn't say it's super unique. Like we've all seen the brown blue with the red. Like I love that, don't get me wrong. And I think it's a great addition to the single shadows that they've come out with. But I do think something about that violet sparkle in it adds something. And you can actually see it on the lids, which I really liked. So I'm gonna put that in too. And those are my top picks. I'll have them down below though. So it's like easier to find if you just wanna go off of those recommendations or just wanna know know kind of what my favorites are and compare them to what you've liked from swatches but I'm gonna leave it here thank you guys so much for watching again I hope this was helpful like I said these will be launching the fifth you can use my code Lauren I think it's just Lauren yeah my code is just Lauren with Odin's eye so if you guys want to save some money if you're gonna be shopping like I said I really appreciate it but no pressure I just hope this was helpful thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna go wash my sparkly hands now and rest okay see you in my next video bye guys